Hi everyone and welcome back to Book Nook's online story time. Today we'll be reading I'm Not Tired Yet, written and illustrated by Marianne Richmond. Ralphie brushed his teeth and had three stories read, but Ralphie Mix at age of six didn't want to go to bed. I'm not tired yet, said Ralphie, and Mom, I see a bug crawling across the carpet and underneath my rug. I don't think so, Ralphie, said a wary Mrs. Mix. Could it be that what you need is a fishy goldfish kiss? I think I do, said Ralphie. They put their heads together and pulled their cheeks in tight and kissed each other like two fishes looking for a bite. That's better, said Ralphie. Good night, Ralphie, said Mom. Just as Ralphie's mom got up to leave his side, she looked at little Ralphie, whose eyes were growing wide. I'm not tired yet, said Ralphie. And now a monster is trying to hide behind the closet shelves. Oh gosh, he's there inside. No monster, Ralphie, said his mom, and no bug below your rug. Could it be that what you need is one big gorilla hug? I think I do, said Ralphie. They wrapped their arms around each other nice and tight and said, hoo, 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 like mammoth apes using all their might. That's better, said Ralphie. Good night, Ralphie, said Mom. Goodness, sighed Ralphie's mom, about to close the door when Ralphie Mix, full of tricks, stayed right there on the floor. What now, Ralphie, said a flustered Mrs. Mix. Little boys must get their sleep, especially at age six. I'm not tired yet, said Ralphie, and mom, there's a problem here. A big mosquito in my room is buzzing in my ear. Ralphie, said his mom, amused, and joined him in a huddle. Could it be that what you need is a cozy polar bear cuddle? I think I do, said Ralphie. They hugged like cuddly bears before Ralphie's last good night, growling growly growls as they held each other tight. That's better, said Ralphie. Good night, Ralphie, said Mom. Do you think he's going to go to sleep yet? Thinking they were done for sure, Ralphie's mom began to leave when Ralphie said, Oh, Mom, can I tell you something, please? I'm not tired yet, said Ralphie, and my tummy is a little sick. Can I have a glass of milk? That should do the trick. Scared and achy, said his mom. You're being mighty fickle. Could it be that what you need is a caterpillar tickle? I think I do, said Ralphie. I think he's just being silly. She tickled Ralphie's tummy and he tickled her right back until the two could laugh no more from the wormy laugh attack. That's better, said Ralphie. Good night, Ralphie, said Mom. Once and for all, Ralphie's mom began to tiptoe on her way, turning in her tracks to the voice that sure did say, I'm not tired yet, said Ralphie. And we should talk before you go. There's some news from school that I think you'd want to know. Oh my goodness, he's really tricking her. I lost my boots at recess, said Ralphie, and I got a pink slip on the bus. The principal said me and her have issues to discuss. But don't worry about it, Mom, it'll be all right. In fact, I think it's time for me to say good night. No one said a thing just then, as Ralphie's mom sat still holding back her temper and gathering her will. Mom, said Ralphie Mix, kidding you is a cinch. Could it be that what you need is one rock lobster pinch? I think I do, said Ralphie's mom. They pinch each other's arms up and down with pincher pokes. Ralphie Mix, laughed Ralphie's mom. I do not like your jokes. All right, Ralphie, said his mom, it's time for bed right now. The night is late and you must wake up for school somehow. 
But I'm not tired, started Ralphie, then soon didn't make a peep. Ralphie Mix, at age of six, had finally fallen asleep. The end.